right, welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. We will now do the tune Cosid Wedding Dance. It's a klezmer tune. I'm going to play the whole thing at kind of a fast, medium, te medium fast tempo, and then we'll slow it way down. We'll learn it note by note, building up quarters of the tune until we have the whole tune. So here we go. I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to do twice to the A, twice to the B, a little quicker. Back to the start. Okay, good. So, um, so to warm up for this tune, I recommend let's do some kind of like a mini scale um, that will feature some of the harder fingerings from the tune. So it's a lot, mostly on the A. I want you to do do this little exercise. And sorry, on the E string, but it's the A part. We're gonna want to do. So it's like a little mini scale. Do it with different variations. Ho down. So if you get if you get that little thing down, it's gonna help you a lot in getting this. Just kind of warm up your left hand. And with any tune you do, try to do a little bit of the scale for the tune. It will help you tremendously. Okay, so I'm now just going to show you the whole first quarter to this tune. Okay, let's break that down. We're going to start A, low two, three, open E. And then we're going to add E, low one. And those first notes are shorter, and then, then the E1 is longer. And then after that, we're going to do A, a low 2. Then we add E, low 1 again. And then we add low 2, 3 after that. Twice on that low 3, the second is a lot longer. time slow okay good people let's take a moment and loop on that phrase with me it'll help you get it and it will unlock the rest of this part again So um, this is going to repeat pretty much as um, the third quarter, I think. So if you get that, then you're in good shape, all right? So uh, after that, I'm just going to play you now the entire second quarter of this tune. Okay. So it's going to start for pickup notes, E low two, low, low one, low two, three. And those are short notes. 
Then we're gonna go um, kind of walk down with low four, three, low two, low one after that. And those are longer. So with the little pickup before we have, here's that piece again. All right, and still we're gonna remain on the E string for the, this whole part. Um, and so after that, we're gonna do this little piece. Let me break that down a little. Three to low one, back to three. And then we're going to add low two, one, three. And then add a three open after that. Okay, hopefully this is making sense. I'm not sure if I'm going too fast or not. And again. Before we had... Okay, and then by oh whoa freak out. Um by the way in the comments field you'll find left hand fingerings in case you don't already know that if you haven't been doing these videos. Um so here's the whole second quarter put together again slowly. And again. Okay. Um, third quarter is just like the first. We have a different pickup. Um, there's really not a pickup. So we're just going to go right to this for the third quarter. So it's kind of like the first, but without that pick it up. All right, so here's the third quarter again. Okay, good. And now let's do the fourth quarter. And there's two fourth, there's a fourth quarter the first time we play it, first ending we say. And then when we do the tune, the, the A part again, the, the second time the A part will have a different ending. So we're going to do the first ending of the fourth quarter. All right, and I sort of started the pickup to the first qu quarter or the beginning again. So here's that again. So it's kind of like, it starts like the second quarter. And then we're going to go open E. Here's that again. And then after that we do this. So that's E low one to A low two to open, open A, back to low two on A, and back to E low one. So, so far in the fourth quarter, first ending we have, all right, and then we go back to the first quarter, pick up. So hopefully that's not too confusing. Um, and then the, when we do the second ending, we just sort of do a little bit less, all right? All right, so with the pickup, that'll be. All right, so um, I am now gonna play the entire A part very slowly with um, putting together the um, with the first ending on the first time through the A and the second on the second time. And if any of these parts are unclear, you may want to 
listen and then pause, rewind, and practice each individual part, maybe even smaller parts within those parts right now. Okay, folks, let's do the entire A part very slowly. Just listen if you need, and if you think you got it, then play along. Excellent work. Glad you made it this far. Now we're going to try the B part again. If you don't quite have that, don't move on just yet. Just stay with the A part till you get it, so you can kind of make it through, all right? Assuming you've done that, let's move on to the B part, all right? So um, I'm going to start with the pickup, which is open E, low one, and raise two. In fact, let's even before doing the B part, let's just do another scale thing, all right, to help you with that. So this mini scale I want to show you is um, like what I showed you for the A part, except now we have raised two, which gives it a much more like Middle Eastern kind of sound. All right, good. Now starting with the B part, I'm gonna play the entire first quarter for you. Okay, let's break that down. It starts open E, low one, low two. And then go up to three. Three, three. Here's that again. And then we add two, regular two. Try that again. Okay, and then we add low one. Um, I'm just gonna start from that point and move on. So that next bit is starts low one, open low one. And then add two. And then back to one, low one. And open E. Isn't that cool sounding? And then we're gonna add A3. There's that again. Before that we had. And then we add. Let's put together the first quarter now very slowly. Okay, that's kind of a key part to this tune. I recommend that you stay with that and maybe, maybe even pause and practice that right now, okay? On your own, pause and practice this thing. And the reason I asked you to do that is because this B part is very repetitive. So why, you know, it just makes sense. If you get this down, you're just gonna be doing the same thing again. So, you know, maybe you could get to the point where you even memorize it right away and you step away and just really get into it. Um, and so now let's move on and we'll do the entire second quarter of the B part.
Okay, so um, the second quarter begins with the way the first quarter ends with. All right. But we're going to add now an A regular two. And then after that, we're gonna add A3. I'm gonna play play all that comes next. So it's kind of just walking up and down a scale. We're gonna start A3, open E, E low one, E2, E3. So that together. All right, we're working on the second quarter still. And now we, to end it, we just add open, low one, regular two. So this whole second half of the second quarter. There's that again. So the whole second quarter, well, let's just do what came before that. And then. Now let's just put it together, whole second quarter, slowly. Okay, good. Third quarter is just the same as the first quarter. I didn't do the pickup, but the pickup I sort of showed you in the second quarter. So here's that again, third quarter. Okay, fourth quarter starts like the second. I'm just gonna play the whole fourth, fourth quarter, first ending. Alright, let's break that down. The fourth quarter starts like the second. But then we're going to keep going down to A3, A2. Here's that again. God, that sounds cool. And back up to E. And then we add after that um, A3, kind of walking up the scale from A3. So the whole fourth quarter done slowly. Again. And then that leads to the um, pickup of the first quarter of the B. And we do that again. The second time we end it, it's kind of like just a little simpler, all right? So here's the second ending to the B part. Okay, and then if we do the second ending like that, it'll lead to the either to the back to the A part or we could just end it there. So if we were to go back to the A, it'd be like Right? But if we were to end it, we just do nothing at the end. Something like that. Um, so now I'm just gonna play the entire B part. Again, if you're unsure of any part, you may just wanna listen. Listening is practice too. Um, and uh, otherwise, if you think you got it and you wanna just try playing along, do that. And maybe, or maybe you need to listen to it once and then play along. I don't know. I probably don't even need to say all that, right? Okay, here we go. Twice through the B part, and then I'm gonna go into a little bit of the A so you see how it connects back. Here we go.
Repeat. back to the A part there. Okay, so um, hopefully that made some sense. You can always write me a comment if something didn't, because I'm always trying to improve these one way or another. Am I, did I go too fast? Did I go too slow? Too repetitive? Not repetitive enough? I don't know. Um, I'm only trying to imagine how this is for you out there, so if you give me feedback, I'll maybe make this better, okay? So, well, it's been fun. It's a good tune. I hope you get it and enjoy playing it. More klezmer type tunes to follow. Take care. So long. Thanks for watching.